Hey, what's going on, TikTok? I'm coming with my follow-up. Because the one thing that you need to see is the evidence. And so, the evidence, when you go to the writings in Titus, that was also Paul admonishing his minister, his boy, his spiritual son or disciple, however you want to call it, to admonish the servants, the slaves, however, teaching them to obey their masters. So that is the narrative. And so the crazy thing about it is that that is what is used in the slave Bible. That was being taught by the slave preacher who got it from the master. So they took the best slave, made him a preacher to convince the other ones. And so this is what is happening. Let's go to Philemon, where Paul convinced a runaway slave to go back to his master and told his master to receive him as a brother. But my question is, how come he couldn't keep running to freedom? Why did he have to go back? And so Paul was like, yo, man, you obligated to me. Treat him like a brother, but it's still slavery. To go back into bondage? Why did he leave? Seriously. Why did he leave? And why did he come to work for Paul? And then Paul told him to go back. I'm telling you, man. When you begin to look at the narrative of what is happening with history and that Bible has been used as an instrument of control, because like I said on my previous video, they will give you religion to control you, but never truth to free you. And even though Jesus said that you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free, we've been following people. We made an idol out of Peter. We made an idol out of Paul in his writings. And this is the weapon that was used against the African slave on American soil by white men teaching black men how to preach to other black men and women, how to be subservient and to work for a promise of freedom when they die. And that is the issue that I have. Because there's a whole lot of guys that know Bible, a whole lot of guys that know Revelation, a whole lot of guys that can prophesy, a whole lot of guys that know how to talk in tongues but won't say jack about racism. But they'll hold on to Paul. They'll hold on to New Testament. And so I'm trying to get you to understand and see that this is what was used against us and we still suffering from it. So my brothers and sisters, you can disagree. Look at the history. Look at the slave Bible and look at what was written and given to us. Peace.